man cannot commit himself to what he does not love. And scriptural faith is faith in God. So any idea that we have of God, which does not spontaneously call forth, out of our hearts, the feeling of love is not a true idea of God. For the whole basic matter is that God is love. I speak from experience. I stood in the presence of infinite love and his man. So I do not have the problem that others would have concerning this presence that is love. I can yield to him instantly, for I know he exists. I know he exists in me. I also know he exists in you, but you may not be aware of it. I can only ask you to believe it and yield completely to this presence within you. For by him all things are made, and without him was not anything made that is made. So tonight we will show you what I have done in the past with great success, and how it operates. Now, if I wanted something in this world, and who does it? I would formulate an act which would imply that I have it. And then in my imagination, I would simply, having performed that act, I would yield completely to this being within me to execute it. I would fall off into sleep, convinced that he heard me, that he saw my act in faith. For we are told in this same 11th chapter that I quoted when I first started, the 11th chapter of the Epistle to the Hebrews, that we must come to God believing that God exists. For unless we believe that He exists, we cannot please Him. So who would draw near to God must believe that He exists. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. And so, if I took the 13th chapter of Corinthians, Paul's wonderful hymn in praise of love, and paraphrased it, though I speak in tongues of men and angels, and though I had the power of prophecy, but I understood all mysteries and all knowledge. And though I gave all that I have, gave it away, though I gave my body to be burned, and had not faith, I cannot please him. I cannot please him without faith. If I am not on the surface level of my being, I am not going to do it. I simply yield completely to him, having acted. It's an act of self-commission. I perform the act. What act? I act as though I had what I sought. I act as though I heard that you have what you asked of me. I perform an act, and then I yield completely to that depth of my own being, who is God and allow him from that death to externalize it for me. As he tells us in the 55th chapter of Isaiah, your ways are not my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. So do not ask how it's going to be done. All I have to do is to completely yield to this being within me, 
for he has ways and means I on this level of my being know not of. I rise then under compulsion. And under this compulsion I go through a series of events which will lead up to the fulfillment of that to which I yielded. I assume that it's done. And then I commune with myself and gave thanks within me that it is done. 